This is what we came up with for DSLR scanning. Um, basically we're using 5D Mark III and a 100 millimeter macro lens and then parts that we bought from Home Depot. The parts from Home Depot, we spent less than $15. So if you don't count the $4,000 spent on camera gear, this is super affordable. Um, also, we picked up a film holder from Amazon uh, for 35 millimeter, and then there's these glass slides for 120. Um, so basically, the it's this is a drain cover that we repurposed to, um, there's a slot cut in and it holds the film holder uh, steady. And that goes on a light box, which we also bought from Amazon. Um, this pipe slips into the drain cover and these two pieces, the cuts don't have to be very precise because uh, it doesn't really affect the way the camera's held or anything. But there's this sleeve and this sleeve has to be exact. So it took us a little bit of measurement to get it correct. We measured the minimum focus distance and uh, measured everything so that the lens is held the minimum focus distance off of the light box. And that's how we got that measurement. Um, so basically, it goes film holder on the light box and that'll slide in and out of this. Pipe goes in, the sleeve slips over the pipe, and then the lens hood for the 100 millimeter macro, we cut out the slot in the pipe so that way it just slips right on. And then the camera just goes straight onto the lens hood. As long as you have the, either you use a cable release or you set up the timer um, so it doesn't transfer any of the shake, it's really easy to just slide the film holder through, take a photo, next slide, take a photo, next slide, take a photo. And then for 120, what you do is you just put the slide on the light box this whole thing slips over, and what we do is take a photo, slide it over to the next spot, take a photo, slide it over, take a photo. We do that four times for the Hasselblad 6x6 uh, negative, and then we stitch that in Photoshop. Um, we've even done three uh, different exposures, so we actually get an HDR, um, which will give you a 32-bit uh, DNG out of a 35 millimeter scan and uh, so the dynamic range everything's there it's just as sharp as scanning and it's so much easier and if you already own a 5d and a macro lens or whatever dslr and a macro lens the pipes are 15 bucks and it took about an hour of cutting to get it right so yeah thanks for watching